Hey y'all, it's Ryan, and today I'm going to tell you all about heart rate variability in a few short minutes. Measuring heart rate variability, or HRV, allows us to understand the intimate connection between our brainstem, hearts, and other peripheral organs. You might have heard about HRV recently as we have better and better technology to measure it. So we used to rely on ECG machines, but now we can use polar watches and even some phone apps to get reliable HRV data. Again though, we could be talking about a lot of different types of measurements when you hear the word or the phrase HRV. So some questions I ask are, what specific HRV index are you using? For example, RMSSD or low frequency HRV. These have different implications. Was the measure taken at rest or did you control for a person's respiration rate? This matters depending on which HRV index you're using. And of course we want to make sure that the device was actually validated because some watches will approximate HRV, but they may not be validated for scientific studies yet. And these kinds of questions are important because they influence what kind of conclusions you can draw from the study and also help you to know whether you can combine results into one. Okay, let's dive in. So what is HRV? Heart rate variability refers to the variability or the differing amount of time between each heartbeat. To find this information out, we have to record the person's heartbeats or heart rate, but also know how much time is between those beats. For that, we need what's called an inner beat interval, or IBI. This IBI represents the amount of time between each R wave, which is highlighted here. More variability in HRV represents that your systems have more flexibility to respond to the ever-changing internal and external environments that we face as humans. So broadly, the idea is that your heart rate and HRV are influenced by both branches of your nervous system, so the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. While the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for activating us, so think fight or flight, the parasympathetic nervous system is like the break for our system. Think rest and digest. Because I'm trying to keep this video short, I'm not gonna to talk too much about these systems here, but know that the important part is that different indices of HRV represent sympathetic and or parasympathetic activity differently. In my research, we primarily focus on the parasympathetic elements of HRV. So the specific indices are often RMSSD and high frequency HRV. The main nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system is called the vagus nerve. And vagus means wandering in Latin, and that's definitely appropriate. This nerve is so important because it connects from the brainstem to many other organs and brings information about the inner organs like our gut, lungs, and heart back to the brain. The vagus nerve also directly mediates the beat-to-beat -beat variability in a heart rate time series. So measures that focus on vagal regulation are studying the parasympathetic elements of heart rate variability. So why do we care about HRV to begin with? Large studies have found associations between reduced HRV and increased risk for all-cause morbidity and mortality. So right off the bat, that tells us that HRV is wrapped up in a whole lot including digestion, immune function, and of course, cardiovascular function. Another really interesting connection is between HRV and emotion regulation. There's some important parallels, like the need to respond flexibly, whether physiologically or emotionally to changing environments. So generally, increased worry, rumination, or using less adaptive emotion regulation techniques has been linked to lower HRV. Lastly, the other question that becomes really interesting is the extent to which HRV can change over time for people. I've been focusing on how we use HRV when looking at differences between people. So who has the greatest risk for cardiovascular trouble in the future, for example. But some people also study interventions to try to increase HRV. And I'll make a video about that line of work in the future. Another really cool piece of this actual process is the collecting HRV data and analyzing the raw inner beat intervals using a computer program like Cuvios. So let me know if y'all are interested in seeing that as well. All right, y'all, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by and remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already.